You know that tension in your neck and that tightness right here at the base of your skull that causes pain to creep up into your head? It's that nagging, pounding headache sensation. Well, that is a tension headache. And while they are miserable, there's a lot that the right stretches and exercises can do to alleviate that tension in your neck and eliminate the pain in your head. They're so effective, they actually work in 60 seconds or less. That's exactly what I want to share with you in this video today. That's exactly the benefit that I hope that you get from some of these exercises. But before we jump right into it, what exactly is a tension headache and why do you get it? Well, you have some small muscles right here at the base of your skull that when they get tight, they pinch down on the nerves in your neck and can cause that pain up into your head. And so in order to treat that tension headache, we need to decrease pressure and decrease tension in those muscles so that they decrease compression in the nerves and that's what helps you to feel better fast. And so again, that's exactly what I wanna share with you in this video today. I hope that you get some great benefit from these exercises. First one is coming at you right now. The first thing that we need to do is promote some relaxation in those tight suboccipital muscles. And the best way to do that is with massage or some trigger point release. The best way that you can do that at home is actually with a couple of racquetballs. If you get these a lot, if you're susceptible to these tension headaches or tension in your neck, honestly, this is the best $5 investment that you're ever going to make. I've got a couple of racquetballs linked in the description to this video just to make it super easy for you to pick some up. This is what the setup looks like. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can put them both down into the bottom of a clean sock. That's one way to achieve what we're after. The other thing that I did is just take some athletic tape and tape two of them together. So you're gonna go a couple of laps with the tape around one way, turn them, and then go a couple of laps with the tape around the other way so that you have something that looks like this when you're done. The thing that I love about this is this is just the perfect mobilization tool for those tight muscles at the base of your skull. What I want you to do is lay down on your floor. This bed, this is a little too soft. Your bed at home is way too soft to get the effect that you're after with this. So please lay down on the floor. And then what you're going to do is grab those racquetballs and put them right at the base of your skull. And what you'll find is the groove down between the balls. That's a, that's a perfect spot for the vertebrae on your neck. But then the spheres or the peaks of the spheres are a great way to just apply pressure and compression into those areas, into those tight muscles right at the base of your skull. And typically what I like to tell people is you can get on that spot and like if it's, if it might, it'll probably be tight at first, it'll probably be pretty tense at first, but if you lay on it for 20, 30 seconds, you should start to notice that that tension melts away and starts to feel a little more comfortable. The other thing that you can do is just very, very slightly nod your head up and down and that will achieve this massage effect with those racquetballs. And so what I would recommend there is about 60 seconds. You can try it for about 10 to 20 seconds, kind of see how it feels and then repeat that two or three times. But really only 60 seconds is all that it takes to start to alleviate some of that tension in the back of your head. What I like to do is then follow that up with some stretching to those muscles. The best way that I like to do that is with some chin tucks. So you're right down in that same position. Right now I have a big arch right here underneath my neck. My chin is up. What I want to do is flatten my neck down into the bed or down into the floor that you're laying on. Tuck my chin straight down into my chest just into, or straight down into my throat, excuse me, until I get just a good stretch right here at the base of my skull. You should feel that really pulling through those muscles that are tight right at the base of your skull. You're gonna hold that for about three to five seconds and then you're gonna reset so the chin comes back up towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin down into your throat, hold that stretch for three to five seconds and then come right back up to the ceiling again to kind of reset the system. I typically recommend people do that for about 20 repetitions or just a 60 second timer, just about a minute worth of stretching. And by this point, you should start to feel pretty good. The next thing that I like to follow that up with is one of my favorite rotation stretches for those muscles. For this one, you're just gonna need either a small hand towel or a pillowcase works well. And what you'll do is you'll grab the corners of that pillowcase or of that hand towel and then drape that right around your neck. It looks just like this. Now what I want you to do is cross your hands. And so right now my left hand is crossed over my right. I'm gonna grab both of those tails. My right hand is gonna stay right here against my chest. 
as I pull the left towel or the tail of this left towel comes right here across my cheekbone. So we're gonna secure it with the right hand. The left hand pulls the towel right across my cheekbone into this rotation motion, but you should feel that really isolate those muscles that are tight right here at the base of your skull. That's just a great rotational stretch to those suboccipital muscles. You would take that to a range where it feels comfortable, hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds, and then you can repeat that three times to one side. And then what we're going to do is cross our hands over the other direction. So now my right hand's on top, left hand stays down here against the chest, and then it's just repeated to the other side. So again, about three times, 15 to 20 seconds, as long as we're getting that good, comfortable stretch right there in the base of the skull. Now, with this, the muscles in your neck are also going to feel pretty tense. My two favorite stretches to get those stretched out and mobilized are going to be the ear to shoulder stretch and the smell your armpit stretch. So the first one is for your upper trapezius. What you're going to do is duck my, so my left ear is going down over towards my left shoulder until I get a good stretch right here through the right side of my neck. Now what you can do is with your left hand, reach up to the right side of your head and apply just a very gentle overpressure to enhance that stretch over here on the right side. Again, 15 to 20 seconds one direction, and then we're gonna even things out. We're gonna go 15 to 20 seconds in the other direction, and then repeat that three times. The last stretch, and this is usually one of my patient's favorites, is gonna be, like I said, the smell your armpit stretch, or this is the levator scapulae stretch, if we wanna be more technical with it. What we're going to do is rotate our head about 45 degrees, and then look down to your opposite pocket, or again, smell your armpit if you're gonna get into this position right here. Right now I rotated left and I'm looking down at my left pocket. With my left hand, I can reach up to the back of my head and apply just a very gentle overpressure to then enhance the stretch in that direction. You're gonna feel this one a little bit more kind of at the back of your neck, right where that muscle runs. And that one is usually really good. People usually really like that one. Hold that in a comfortable position, 15 to 20 seconds. And then we're gonna even things out by going over here to the right side, uh, right hand to the back of my head until I get a good stretch right over here on the left side of the back of my neck. Hold that in a comfortable position for 15 to 20 seconds and repeat that three times. Now I'm curious, did that help? Do you feel better? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. If you do feel better, it is probably only temporary. The sad truth is that tension is going to come back unless we actually correct the problem, unless we actually work on some of the postural strength muscles that are holding your head and neck up. If you're interested in a video to help you do that, click on this one right here from Tone and Titan. Here's one more YouTube thinks that you might like on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the circle right here to do that. I'd love to see you back for future videos. We'll see you again soon right here on Tone and Titan.